Violent crime is also a growing concern in St. Louis. This year, more than 160 people have been killed in the city. Today, religious leaders from across our area united to find a solution. News 4's Emma Hogue reports on the call for peace. We've watched bloodshed for decades and done little to nothing. In song, prayer and unity, over 100 people filled the bleachers at Cardinal Ritter High School to take a stand. Violence is an issue in our country and it has run rampant in our society. Religious leaders from around the St. Louis area taking action, preaching the importance of community involvement to help end gun violence. Well, God has been shut out of too many homes because of gun violence. Less than two miles away, these flags were put up to remember the victims of gun violence. It's a harsh reality. This number is growing by the week. Religious leaders say this is a call for action to keep from adding any more. We have never given gun violence the attention that it commands. According to St. Louis City Police, at least 163 people have been killed this year. Compare that to 154 people this time last year. Many of those deaths a result of gun violence, what some are calling an epidemic with no age restriction. No child should have to see their parent die. No parent should have to see their child die. Early Sunday morning, investigators called to Margareta near North Taylor Avenue. A 41 year old man, the latest victim of gun violence, now fighting for his life. Gun violence is at an epic pitch right now. This is something that is not going to stop overnight, which is why James Clark with Better Family Life is reaching into at risk neighborhoods daily. He believes interfaith services like this are a step forward. Two years ago or three years ago, you would you would not have had this. So this is saying that St. Louis is beginning to at least give it the attention that it demands in St. Louis. Emma Hogue News 4.